All right, Lijong Tower map guide, let's go. All right, so to use the code that I'm using, you can go to the description. You just paste it in the workshop and custom game. Uh, you can place a bot with interact and then you just press reload to respawn him. So you boop him, reload, respawn. All right, so one thing about cough is obviously it's mirrored, right? So both sides of the map are gonna be the same. So the rollouts are just gonna apply to either side, right? So I'm just gonna show one side. All right, so first up, a lot of the time you're gonna be spawn trapping, right? It's really nice to spawn trap on Li Jiang. So when someone's walking out of spawn, a lot of the time, these fences are gonna, gonna block the boop, right? So you're gonna wanna shoot these or roll over them. Now, obviously this bot doesn't move, he doesn't resist uh, against my uh, my boops and he's not gonna use abilities, right? So it's gonna be a lot easier. But uh, oftentimes when they're walking out of spawn, you can hit the double, it's quite easy. Sometimes they'll walk near the edge and you won't need to double, like this. But I'd say 90% of the time, they're gonna walk around here and you're gonna need to double boop to get them off. So just to be safe, I would just double boop every time. But obviously that guy just goes off quite easy because uh, he's not going to resist the movement. Alright, so one thing a lot of people know is that you could just go to this right side here. Although I think this is probably much slower for contesting the point, but it's nice to catch people off guard coming this way sometimes. Although you will have to be careful because there's going to be a lot of people looking for boops, right? So if you know there's going to be a Brig or some, you know, or a Lucio or whatever waiting for you, I wouldn't go this way because you'll just get booped off. Now usually when I first spawn in, I'll go this way. Because a lot of the time you're going to play against Sombra, right? Overwatch 2, Sombra's played a lot, so... Straight up, I would do this. Come around here. You can uh, scout the comp. And you can also shoot the Sombra here. So if he's invis, you just spam here. He's going to want to hack this Mega, right? You want to camp it. Now, people used to play Sim a lot here, right? Sim TP point, but that's not really used anymore. So you don't really need to go point and wait for TP. I would just sort of sit here, scout the comp. Uh, wait for the tank maybe to engage and then just go straight up back line straight away now also there is a, a nice little spot here if someone is lined up like this you can hit a double they're gonna go off the map it's quite nice or they're around here you can just hit a single just like that as well as that you got some spots like this nice little rebound chain if someone goes to take the mega you can just hit them with this. Now, these high grounds here, a lot of people are going to go here. You can just hit a wall jump. Quite easy. You're going to get up every time. Now, inside the point, there's a lot you can do. If anyone is lined up within this this whole line here, it's very easy to hit doubles, triples, even, even just single boops. Because uh, the new boop is really good, so... It's quite easy to hit doubles like that. Maybe someone is, I don't know... I'd say someone's around here. You can boot them off, obviously. He didn't spawn in that. Now this spot is really good for rebounding as well, so... Let's say a Kree is just sneaking up on you right here, while you're camping the mini. A lot of the time you're going to be in this spot, right? Maybe like low HP, trying to survive. A lot of the time you can just hit a quick rebound, get them off the map. It's a really nice spot. Uh, another nice little rebound chain spot is in here, on the Mega. You can simply just hit this. A lot of people come there, so it's quite nice. And yeah, that's about it for this stage. A lot of the time, a lot of your value is going to come from booping people off the point here. Like, if anyone ever tries to go coast, they're going to get booped off. Although there is one more spot I forgot about. It's a nice little tightrope spot here. This is really, really nice, right? Because a lot of the time, if the enemies go coast, they'll know you're on ball, right? And they're not just going to walk here. People aren't dumb, right? People aren't dumb. They're not just going to let you boot them. So a lot of the time, they will wait here and wait for you to go and then try punish you, right? So what you can do to switch things up a little bit, hit tightrope like that. It's a really nice spot. Just means that they can't really go coast at all, basically. But yeah, mo most of your value is gonna come from here. Just hitting doubles like this. It's really, it's like one of the best double boot, best double boot spots in the game. Maybe hit some triples if you're good enough. And yeah. Right, Gardens. This one's the classic, man. Everyone loves this map. Every ball player knows this map's great. Now, first up, you're coming out of spawn. Let's say you have a, a Lucio speed, maybe, or, you know, a, I mean, basically just a Lucio speed, maybe a, a, a Sim TP, right? There's there's so many rollouts you can do here. There's so many to start off, right? You can obviously hit the, the rock rollout and go through the window. Uh, 
You can also just straight up roll. I Most of the time, I'm just going to roll like this. Do this. This is just for contesting the point and stuff, obviously. Uh, there is another rollout you can hit here. If you're coming along here. You do this. You can hit a really nice poop here. It's a really good spot. As well as this, you can just jump across here. A lot of people know this, but yeah. It's quite easy, quite simple. Uh, it's great for like, let's say you're getting chased here, you're about to get booped, you can quickly take Mega, come back. It's really nice. Now another thing about this map, you're going to see a lot of rails, right? These are going to be very annoying for balls, so you want to destroy them as much as you can, right? Let's say you want to fight, you want to basically go destroy every every uh, fence on the map. Alright, so my usual rollout here, <clears throat> I'll come out of spawn, I'll hit one of the rollouts. Doesn't really matter too much since ball is so fast. Immediately, I'll come here, right? From this angle, you can just scout the comp super, super easy, right? And you're going to see they're going to be coming bridge fast, so you better be ready, okay? Now, depending on what they have, what they're playing, there's going to be a lot of options, right? Now, let's say they have a Sombra. It's going to be rough to go for this, right? So what you might want to do is quickly hop over, kill Transicator, you know? Go behind, kill Transicator, do something like that. However, most of the time, it's going to be worth it just to go for this boop. Because it, it's just it's just so strong, and with the the buff boot right now, it's just so good. I would just go for it every time, basically every time. Now there's a lot of variation you can do to this boot. You can hit one of these. It's quite nice. Catch them off guard. You can hit the uh, the window boot like this. It's quite nice. Obviously that uh, roll I showed you before as well. You can do that one uh, straight out of spawn. And yeah, generally this spot is just going to be super easy to get boobs. This is going to be where 90% of your value comes as ball here. Now, versus Sombra, TP is almost always going to be here. If it's not here, it'll be here, here, maybe on this mega, right? Very easy to play around. There's not a lot of places you can place the TP, so it's quite easy to play against Sombra on this map. Uh, there's a nice little roller you can do if your, your team's getting spammed out here. Let's say you've lost the first fight. You're camping here, you're coming out, they're spamming you, right? And do this, get a nice little boop. A lot of the time, the teams aren't going to spam directly here, but if they do, it's really nice. You can just hit a quick punish. Now, there's a lot of opportunity for dull boops here as well. So, let's say the team is playing anywhere around here. You can hit this. Very easy. Maybe someone's playing on the Mega. That's some easy boops as long as these rails are destroyed. Uh, let's say let's let's say there's someone here, right? You find it hard to hit a dull boop. You can simply just do this. It's a really, really easy way, and it's super fast. Just like that. Now let's say they go white. A lot of people are just going to go white, right? If the, if they see the enemy has ball, they're not going to go bridge, right? People aren't stupid. They're going to come here. Now what you're going to want to do is either come this side, wait, or come this side. I would just switch it up. E even if the enemy team spawn is here, sometimes I would stand here just because they expect me to come from my side, right? But what you're going to want to do is, the moment they come here, you want, you're going to want to hit the timing. It's going to be very hard, but you're going to work it out, okay? Basically, the moment they walk there, you want to go in. Do this. Right. Sometimes you're going to get a boop, sometimes you're not. But it's pretty risk-free, right? A lot of the time, you're not going to get booped off the map. You can just do this for free. And even if you don't get a kill, it just creates so much pressure. Just the, uh, you know... The fact that you can get booped just uh, causes the whole team to play super safe, play super scared. Try using your and just in general, this whole area is just so good for boops. Like anyone in this doorway, off the map. You're gonna want to be like constantly going for these types of type of boops. And even if you don't hit them, it's gonna scare the enemy team, right? So they're gonna play like uh, super scared. They're maybe not gonna walk out. Uh, another nice little spot in here. A nice little rebound chain spot here. This one's pretty good if they all walk in. Now, as well as the last map, this map's super good for spawn trapping. You're going to want to kill these rails, though, as usual. Kill these. Now, there's quite a few ways you can spawn trap it. Let's say you want to mix it up. You can hit them here. Now, I'm going to say you want to double boot basically every time. Just to be safe, right? Because sometimes they won't be close enough to the edge. Sometimes they'll resist the movement. So, I would just double boot every time, though. Well, is here. Hit him like this. 
Super easy. Most heroes are just gonna go straight off the map, right? Now let's say you're having a fight and spawn, right? You're about to die. You wanna get out. It's a nice little spot. You can just sit up here forever, basically. And you basically can't get killed. It's a nice little spot if you just wanna waste some time, maybe, you know. Bit of a meme spot, but it's fun. Now a lot of people don't know. There's a lot of uh there's a lot of weird stuff here in Li Jiang. Like you can go all the way around here. There's a lot of back alleys. And you can use these. So let's say you're like dying in spawn or you're trying to catch people out. Let's say you're about to die here. You can just hit the wall jump, hop over there, and maybe like grapple back to your team, right? It's a really nice spot. Now over here, there's a really nice drop boop spot you can hit. If you know they're gonna go white, a lot of the time I'll wait bridge. Just because even if one person goes bridge, it's basically a free boop, right? But sometimes people get smart. This is why you have multiple spots, right? You want to mix things up. Now let's say the walk in here. I'd usually wait in this corner, wait for him to go, hit a drop boot. Now you can use the momentum of falling to get the fireball, just like that, it's quite a nice spot. Now when you're fighting on point, you're going to be just doing usual ball stuff, right? There's not too much to it, you just shoot in, boop in, the usual, right? Now if you start getting low, what you want to do is just hop back and forth, super easy. Take the megas, if you're on this side, go here, take the mega, come back. You're in the fight instantly, right? It's really good. Now as well as this, there's a nice little roller you can do here. If you hook here, you can fly over, hit a boop. But this is kind of obvious, right? They're going to see you coming. So I'd only do this if you're desperately trying to go to the bridge fast. Because you know they're going to be coming early, right? Alright, now this map's going to be a little bit worse. It's not as good for ball, obviously, because it's indoors. It's good for like, uh, you know, it's good for shields, rush comp, stuff like that. However, ball is still pretty good on this map, I'd say. Now, first up, when I'm coming out of spawn, I'll just go like this, straight up, go this way, right? Now, if you think they're going to have a Sombra, you can spam this. Maybe he's going to come this way, maybe spam this. If not, I'd go like this, scout. It's a really nice scout spot. You can just immediately scout the whole comp, right? Now, depending on what they have, I'd straight up kill TP, Sombra TP, maybe kill Sombra TP here. If not, I would probably go like this. I'd wait for the tank to walk towards my team, I'd ignore the tank. Overwatch 1, I would boot the tank in, kill him maybe, right? I'd say it's Zarya. I'd just boop him in, kill him. Fortunately, you cannot kill tanks in Overwatch 2, <laughs> especially Zarya and D.Va, so... What you're going to want to do is either boop Squishy out into this middle part, get a slam, maybe your team will follow up. Or you're going to want to just straight up go back one like this. Like that, you're going to get huge slams here, it's a really nice spot. Uh, another little spot here is you can jump here. Slam on this. This is like one of the things I do almost every game. Slamming on this is great, right? Because a lot of supports are going to be kiting around this. They're going to play around this, right? So rather than just slamming the ground, you slam here. You're going to hit all of them below you. You're going to sacrifice a bit of damage, but it, it's worth it to get the knockup, obviously. Now, spawn trapping on this map. Same as all the others. You want to kill the fences first. Let's say he's about to spawn. I would shoot the fences. Now, there's, there's a lot of boops you can hit here. You can just hit them straight up like this, here. Uh, you can wait for them to go here. A lot of the time, if they're here, they'll be regrouping and spawn. You don't even need to double boop, right? You just hit a single. But like I said, most of the time you're going to want to go for a double. Just to be safe, right? It's a lot more safe than just hoping that the, uh, the single will hit. Now as well as that, if they're walking out of spawn, you just hit them here. Going to go off the map as well. Sometimes people come up this way, thinking they can't get booped off, but obviously uh, we play ball, so yeah, we can still boot them off anywhere up there. Uh, like the last map as well, if you're dying in spawn, you can just hop up here. You're invincible, basically. You can never die. You can just sit up here forever. Now this thing here, it's really nice for bouncing off, so I use this all the time. It's just a nice way to hit a pile drive really easily. Like, let's say there's an Ana behind here, or like a a Kree, obviously. It's very easy just to just to hit like this. Super easy. You just jump as you hit. Now, this is a ball. A lot of people aren't going to play around here. Up here. But, um, some people are stupid. And they still will, right? Let's say your teammate is up here. An enemy is going to go chase him. There's a lot of things you can hit. You can hit a tightrope like this. You grapple low. Jump. There you go. And you can boot them off quite easy. 
Uh, you can also do this one. I prefer this one just because it's uh, faster, more consistent. Just like this, boot them off. You're going to hear a lot of boops here usually. It's a really nice boop spot. Uh, next up, all the, these things in the middle here. You can just uh, wall jump off them, pile drive. A lot of people are going to play around these, right? So it's like this spot here. You're going to want to just like slam on top of them. Because then you're going to hit all around. Sacrifice a little bit of damage, but it's worth it. Same with this thing here. Usually I'll just slam this. And all around here, people are going to be kiting around these. You can just use them to slam over or just slam on top. Now, pre-fight. You usually just want to scout which way they're going to go. If you sit here, maybe a trace will come on you, a summer will come on you. They'll probably force you out, right? So you can't just sit here. But usually, people are just going to walk main, right? You just hit these kind of boops. You can slam in here. You can slam here. All this kind of stuff is just going to create so much space, get so much value, right? You're just going to kill so many people if you're doing this kind of stuff. And yeah, that's about it. That's most of the useful spots. I could show you guys a few meme spots, but uh, I mean, they're kind of useless, right? Like, you can go up here, you can slam this. Useless, basically. But yeah, I, I would just, uh, all the spots I showed in this video, those are basically the spots I only use. Don't really use any other spots, because um, a lot of them are just memes, right? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can do some more map guides soon, maybe. Uh, I'll do a tech guide soon as well. I know you guys all been asking for that, so yeah, that'll be out soon. Soon, TM.